This is the structure of observer pattern. We will see how this is implemented in Swift source. Here is the class subject. It has variable observers array. And here is the method attached with parameter obj of type observer. Inside this, it is appending this parameter obj to observers array. So it is attaching the observer object. And this is the method detach with parameter obj of type observer. So this method is for detaching the observer. Here uh, there is uh, no operation done, but the purpose of this method will be for detaching the observer. And here is the method notify. Inside this, it traverses the observer's array and it calls the method update for each observer so that observer will be updating itself. Here is the subclass concrete subject derived from subject. It has variable state and this is the method set state with parameter value of type int. Inside this, it sets the variable state with this value. So concrete subject state is changed so that it calls the method notify to notify all the observers so that observers can update themselves. So it comes here and it, it traverses the observers array and calls the method update of each observer so that observers will be updating themselves. So you can see whenever the concrete subject state is getting changed, it calls the method notify to notify all the observers. And this is the method get state return type is int. Inside this, it returns the state. Here is the protocol observer. It has method update. So this method will be defined in its subclasses. Here is the subclass concrete observer A derived from observer. It has variable state and another variable sub of type concrete subject. And this is the init method of concrete observer A. It has parameter obj of type concrete subject. Inside this, it sets the variable sub with this parameter obj. So, concrete subject object is set for concrete observer A and here it is calling the method attach of concrete subject and passing itself as parameter so that concrete observer A object will be attached with concrete subject. So it comes here and here it appends the observer object into observers array. So concrete observer A object is attached with concrete subject. Okay. And this is the method update. Inside this, it gets the current state of subject by calling get state method of concrete subject and the returned value is assigned to variable state of concrete observer A. So, observer is updating its state. And here is the subclass concrete observer B derived from observer. It has variable state and another variable sub of type concrete subject. And this is the method init of concrete observer B. It has parameter obj of type concrete subject. Inside this, it sets the variable sub with this parameter obj. So, concrete observer b has set its concrete subject. And then it is calling the method attach of concrete subject. And here it is passing itself as parameter. So, concrete observer b is attached with the concrete subject. So it will come here 
and it will append the observer object into observer's array. So concrete observer b is b object is appended to observer's array. Okay, and here is the method update. Inside this, it gets the current state of concrete subject and sets it to variable state of concrete observer B. So observer is updating itself. Okay, we will see how all these classes are used. Here we are creating concrete subject object and we are assigning it to variable obj and then here we are creating concrete observer a and we are assigning it to variable obj1 and here we are passing concrete subject object as parameter variable obj is passed as parameter which is pointing to concrete subject object. So, okay. So, it will come here when the concrete observer A object is created. It will come to the init method of concrete observer A and it sets the variable sub with obj first parameter which is pointing to concrete subject object so sub will be pointing to concrete subject object and then it calls the method attach and here it is passing itself as parameter so it will go to concrete subject attach so concrete subject is derived from subject so the method attach is here and here it will append the obj which is concrete observer a object to the observer's array okay and similarly here concrete observer b object is created and assigned to variable obj2 so it will come here and here parameter obj is this which is pointing to concrete subject object so variable sub of concrete observer b is set with this parameter obj which is pointing to concrete subject object and here it is calling the method attach and here it is passing itself as parameter so it will go to concrete subject attach in the same way like for the concrete observer A. So it will come here and the concrete observer B object will be appended to observer's array. And then we are calling the method set state with parameter 1. Set state of obj. obj is pointing to concrete subject. So it will go to concrete subject set state. So it will come here, this value is 1, so state will be 1 now, initially it was 0 and then it calls the method notify, so it will come here and it will traverse the observer's array, so first object in observer's array is concrete observer A object. So it will call the method update for concrete observer A object. So it will go to concrete observer A update. So it will come here, here, and it will display this. Then it will call the method get state of sub. Sub is pointing to concrete subject object. So it will come here and it will return the state. State is now 1. So, it 
it will get the value 1 and it will set the variable state with value 1 which was initially 0 and it will display the state value 1 okay so while traversing the next element in observer's array is concrete observer b object so it will go to concrete observer b update so it will come here and then it will display this inside concrete observer b update then it will call the method get state of concrete subject to get the current state which is 1 now uh, so the variable state will be set with 1 and here it will display the value 1 and so in this method all the elements of observers array have been traversed and all the observers have updated themselves.